Hey guys, it's Ray here at oliverhomes.com. So today we're going to give you a house tour of our 1905 Victorian farmhouse and share with you some of the ideas that we have for making our house more environmentally sustainable. So from one neighbor to another, let's jump into it. So why don't we start the tour to our house right here in our very small foyer. So our front door opens right at the stair. I'm gonna show it to you. And this door was not original to the house and we actually have the door that the owners had put in uh, replaced and I will try sharing an image of that with you all. Um, but this is a wood door with a single light and we actually went through our the Maryland Historic Trust to have this type of door approved because it was period appropriate for a Victorian home. So in our very small foyer right here, we also have our stair. This newel post I'm assuming is original it is it's beautiful um, it's all painted white so I guess ideally it would be nice to remove the paint someday and expose the wood finish but I think it looks pretty great as it is right now especially with having this darker color behind it to show that sort of contrast and highlight the stair so it's also very narrow at the end of this stair because this wall bumps out um, and this is actually housing all of the plumbing from the bathroom upstairs and there's a reason why they can't put this in an exterior wall because they don't want the pipes to freeze but at some point we'd like to at least reconfigure it to tuck it into the corner a little bit more i did want to show you over here we just have this small sort of fun little element for those of you that like scandinavian style this is an antique mirror that we got when we were in stockholm on one of our trips underneath our stair we believe this was added later and this wasn't part of the original but there's a small coat closet in here and i won't open it too much because it's kind of a disaster in there right now turn the corner and welcome to our living room. So this is our living room. It is basically a part of this foyer and the stairwell over here. And I think originally this, there was a wall here that closed this off. I've actually seen some of the other houses that are similar to ours on our street and they have uh, more of this wall intact, but one of the owners, the previous owners of this home must have opened it up. And you can kind of see it a little bit in the floor. Um, so. Yes, it's nice to have just a little bit of additional space by opening it up into the hallway. And then over on this side, we have our fireplace that is no longer working. And I've talked about this in several videos. Um, we do hope to actually put a wood burning stove in this fireplace, which we could use potentially to heat our home. And that would be fairly sustainable. There's some rebates for that. So we are talking about putting a wood burning stove in here and then rebuilding the brick chimney up above which had been torn down and then covered over with the roof. wanted to show you guys these beautiful windows. These windows are not original to the home, they're new ones. Um, they are wood Anderson windows, but they are double hung, and which is nice because you can open them fairly easily to let airflow down below, but also um, up above. Alright, 
So, and now we are in the dining room. We actually have these uh, sort of arched entryways. Um, I don't know if these are original to the house either, but we did really like that they added a little bit more character as you enter from, you know, go from one room to another. In our dining room, you know, we love the Scandinavian style. Um, this light fixture is something that we're talking about replacing. It is an older light fixture that kind of fits more with the Craftman style house. So um, we are thinking about getting something that would be, you know, maybe a Danish light fixture um, to go with some of our furniture that is more Scandinavian style. show you guys our outlets. There is air that actually comes right through. I can't feel it right now because it's fairly warm outside. But we do have a lot of cool air that comes through the outlets in the walls and also through the floorboards. So um, just like underneath the sort of gap right here. So we want to seal those and also seal the outlets as part of our green home renovation. And through the dining room, we have our kitchen, which is also connected this way. Okay. Um, so in our kitchen, we actually have a fairly good sized kitchen. And I believe that maybe this wall for the dining room had moved at some point and made the kitchen a little bit larger than it was originally. Um, once again, we have this sort of archway entrance, which is really a nice detail. We do hope to renovate our kitchen at some point, uh, but not for a couple of years. As far as a couple of things that we're thinking about doing to green our kitchen, we have this gas range that we purchased and we would like to go electric and get off of gas so that we are not using fossil fuels in our home any longer. So we've talked about maybe selling this and getting an electric range and oven. And then on this side, I just want to show you all quickly we are composting, so we've got our compost bin right here, um, and we just take that outside. So as far as some work that we've already done, we actually added in these light fixtures. There was a two by four commercial style fluorescent light fixture here, and I will definitely show you guys a picture of that because it just looks like it doesn't fit at all. But we have that replaced with these LED uh, down lights. So um, one day I would really love to have a light fixture hanging over our sink as well. So that might be something with the, the next part of our renovation. So you guys probably already recognize this space as part of our mudroom and breakfast nook. Um, we've done some videos on this before. So we use this as a mudroom all year round, but then we also use it as a breakfast nook during the winter. And we'll move this table and these chairs back outside onto the porch when it warms up outside. And then as you keep circling around back here, it gets kind of tight. We have this uh, narrow sort of hallway back here, and this is the door to the outside. And then this on this side is the door to our basement. Yeah. 
and it's kind of a crazy configuration back here. We've got three doors in this tiny little hall. So our hope is to actually close off this, maybe put a window here, and then take these windows and put French doors here and bring them all the way down to the ground so that you could just walk all the way back into the backyard. So this is one renovation that we have done. We actually renovated this bathroom. This bathroom is kind of a workhorse for us here. We also added in a shower. So originally the bathroom just had the toilet and a sink, but we changed out the sink um, and then added the washer and dryer and the shower. So the washer and dryer were in the basement before, but we don't actually have head clearance in the basement. So we wanted to move it upstairs where it was really easy to access. And we also moved from having a gas dryer to having an electric dryer as part of our, this idea of getting off of fossil fuels in our home and using electric. And I will do a video specifically on our bathroom renovation because I know a lot of you probably are thinking about a bathroom renovation. And then this is the basement. <laughs> so yes, it's kind of tricky down here, not much head clearance. But one part of our green renovation is actually to, um, to add another panel so that we have enough electric for our electric car and then also to put in a heat pump because we're trying to get off of gas. So just across from me over here is our gas furnace and our gas furnace is basically at the end of its life. That's what we've been told and we are looking to replace it with an electric heat pump. So more on that soon. And here is a little sneak peek of our second floor. I didn't show you guys a tour of this, but if it's something you'd be interested in, please leave that in the comments below. Also, please let us know if you have any tips or suggestions or ideas for how to do a green or sustainable renovation for an older house like this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for stopping by our home.